In this tutorial, I will show you how you as an admin can save a master template in Empower version 9.2 and which settings should be made. In this way, you guarantee corporate design compliant presentations in your company. To save a master template, you can first open your current master in the open presentation. To do this, navigate to the new button in the start group in the Empower ribbon and now navigate to the location of the master that you want to edit and save and open it. The master then opens in a new presentation. Then navigate to the PowerPoint ribbon view and click on the slide master button in the master views group. This opens the slide master view where you can edit the current master. You can find more information about this in the help center or on YouTube. When you create it or edit it the master as desired, you can close the slide master view again. To save the master template, click on the arrow under the library button in the start group in the Empower ribbon to open the drop down menu and click on save. This will open a window where you select master and then save as. A new window opens. Here you can select the storage location in the new window and either save the revised or new master as a new master or overwrite the old one and thus update it. When saving an element that is already in the Empower library and part of an update link, you can also define the update behavior using the toggle button. If you then confirm the saving by clicking on the save or overwrite button, the window for the master information opens with further setting options for your master template. First, you can select which layout should be selected automatically if no suitable layout is found for a slide in the master. This happens for example if a PowerPoint presentation that was created with an old PowerPoint master before the implementation of Empower is now to be migrated or transferred to the new master with the convert feature. If the layout mapping algorithm or feature cannot assign a matching layout that matches the name of the layout or the number of placeholders and cannot be assigned via direct layout mapping, these slides are migrated to the layout selected here. You then determine whether a footer should be displayed and, if so, whether a date and page number should be included in the footer. If you select the skip blank layout option, an empty layout will be skipped during assignment and will not be migrated. If you select the layout protection option, the design check will display all elements that are outside the placeholders on a slide as a violation. This requires that areas for layout protection have also been defined in the master. If you select the embed fonts option, the fonts used will be registered and embedded. If you select the color scheme matching option, the colors of the theme are adjusted so that the color of objects does not change or changes slightly if the colors in the new master are in a different order. If you then click on apply, a second window appears in which you can assign a design in Empower to the master. If you want to revise or update the old design, it makes sense to select the old master design in this window. However, if you want to create a completely new design with a new color scheme, you can do so using the plus button. There, you can then set the name for the new theme and select further settings for the creation of the new theme. I'm selecting the old theme for the updated master here. This master is then saved in Empower by clicking on the sign button. Test the function yourself and save valuable time. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.